Uh, Donald. Here he comes. Oh, well, here I come. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello. Say hello. 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 Hello, John. Oh, yes. I've got lines here. Well, fine, fine, I guess. But uh, how did I get here? Uh, uh, well, uh, let me show you. First, I'll need a drop of blood. Your blood. Right. Mm. Oh. John, that hurts. Relax, John. It's all part of the miracle of cloning. Hello, John. Hello, John. <laughs> Hello. Hello, John. And from what? Hello, John. Low extraction has never recreated an intact Hello, DNA strand. Not without massive sequence gaps. Good afternoon, John. Where's your DNA from what source? Where do you get a hundred million year old dinosaur blood? Shh. <laughs> What? What? Oh, <laughs> Mr. DNA, where did you come from? From your blood. Just one drop of your blood contains billions of strands of DNA, the building blocks of life. A DNA strand like me is a blueprint for building a living thing. And sometimes animals that went extinct millions of years ago, like dinosaurs, left their blueprints behind for us to find. We just had to know where to look. A hundred million years ago, there were mosquitoes, just like today. And, just like today, they fed on the blood of animals, even dinosaurs. Sometimes, after biting a dinosaur, the mosquito would land on the branch of a tree and get stuck in the sap. After a long time, the tree sap would get hard and become fossilized, just like a dinosaur bone, preserving the mosquito inside. This fossilized tree sap, which we call amber, waited for millions of years with the mosquito inside until Jurassic Park scientists came along. Using sophisticated techniques, they extract the preserved blood from the mosquito and, bingo, dino DNA. A full DNA strain contains three billion genetic codes. If we looked at screens like these once a second for eight hours a day, it'd take two years to look at the entire DNA strand. It's that long. Since it's so old, it's full of holes. Now that's where our geneticists take over. Thinking machine supercomputers and gene sequencers break down the strand in minutes. And virtual reality displays show our geneticists the gaps in the DNA sequence. We use the complete DNA of a frog to fill in the holes and complete the code. And now we can make a baby dinosaur. This score is only temporary. It all has very dramatic music, of course. Boom, boom, boom. Well, March or something hasn't been written yet. And then, of course, the tour moves on. 